Hey, good morning, everyone. It's great to be with you here on what is this marvelous Monday. And so uh, let's rejoice and be glad uh, this is the day the Lord has made. And I'm excited to be with you this morning. Let's get the two minutes started. Man, I tell you what, I love this. Uh, I love this one this morning. It was just really great because I know in my own life, you know, that I uh, sometimes can be discouraged and can have doubts and stuff. And and I, I've often thought, man, it's just, you know, w with preachers, it's just the way, of, the way of the world, you know. And, and uh, boy, you could have a great day, and then all of a sudden the next day is like, oh, man, it's a slap in the face. And, you know, and, and, and there are lots of things that we just, you know, we as, as pastors and stuff, and then as, just really as, as anybody, we do this. We go out and we'll set down some plans, and we've got things all worked out and we've got it done just the way we want to and so we just really 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 work hard at it and then at the end those plans get changed and something goes sideways and you know the things that we had all worked out guess what didn't work out and so what do we do man we become discouraged we become disheartened and uh, man we just you know we look we, we kind of even sometimes uh, we look for an escape. Maybe you want to change a job, you know, change a church, maybe whatever it is. But I want to share something with you that I think is really, really important when you think about it. And this comes from my quiet time this morning. And man, it's just a great way to think about it is in Isaiah and what's the chapter 14, verse 27 It's there in the quiet time uh, this morning. He says this, and it's this is the New International Version, the way this says this for God, for the Lord Almighty, has purposed. So you can just pause right there and think about that. Now, God has a purpose for our lives. God has a has a plan. He has a purpose. He has, uh, and, and, you know, and, and, and so God knows. I mean, he is omnis omnipotent. I can't say the word. <laughs> just forgive me. But he knows everything, and he knows the future. He knows the past. He knows what's coming up for you. And he has a purpose for your life. And he has a plan. And he has that all worked out. And then I like the rest of this list. And who can thwart him? Who can change his plans? It is written in stone, my friend. And so God is watching over you. God knows what's going on. He knows the struggle that you're facing. And so as you go out and you head out into your week, into your day, and it's a Monday, and uh, man, you know, it's my last day of vacation. It's back to work tomorrow for me. And, you know, and I just, <laughs> man, we've had a great week. I'm just going to be honest with you. You know, it was a stay vacation, which I do not like. I, I got on the screen back there, a beach. <laughs> but I'm <laughs> goodness joking to death and you know and I, I like going places and I like seeing things but we just made the decision to stay and uh, man it was a great week but you know God has a purpose in in our lives and God has a purpose in your life and he's working that out and that is written in stone and that's the end of it you can't say no more about it amen and so if you're struggling through some issue that man you just don't know how it's going to work out trust me God's there I have doubts too. I know you do too. But God's there. And we need this reminder from time to time. Amen? Amen. God bless you. See you now. Bye.